On News 10 First at 5, we told you about little Matthew Miles. He's from Clay City and is only 11 months old, but he also suffers from a health condition that's affected his kidneys. That's why little Matthew and his family have been reaching out for help. News 10's Garrett Brown has more on the family's efforts to get their son a transplant. Mid-October, I want to say, and we were at Riley Children's Hospital for 35 days getting his dialysis started. This is little Matthew Miles. When he was born, he had tears in both of his lungs and his kidneys were not fully formed. But that hasn't stopped Matthew from enjoying himself. Now his family is hard at work collecting donations, all to prepare for a new kidney. Our goal is to raise $40,000. The money that we raise will go towards transplanted related expenses. We have a lot of fundraisers coming up. We're doing an Avon fundraiser on his Matthew page right now. Currently, Matthew is too short to be put on the list, but that hasn't stopped some organizations from doing what they can to help. The Brazil American Legion donated $1,500 for the Miles family cause. But when they're this close, and that little boy, is he is awesome. He is a bundle of joy. And when they came up here, I mean, everybody fell in love with him, and it means the world to us. It still may be a long road for Matthew, but his family knows they will make it through thanks to the community's help. It's so nice to have that large family come around you and support you during the hard times. It's needed. Without our family and friends, I don't know how we would have made it through what we've, made, what we've been through. But no matter how long it takes, this little tyke will continue to show his love and affection for his caring family. In Clay City, Garrett Brown, News 10. He is precious. The Miles family is having a spaghetti lunch benefit at the Clay City Assembly of God Church this Sunday. All it costs to eat is any donation you can provide. We have a link to the family's fundraising website on our website, WTHITV.com.